Have you ever looked at a banana peel and wondered, is that it? All that time spent nurturing the banana and now it's just waste? Could this humble peel serve a greater purpose? Currently in the US, over 60 billion pounds of mineral rich food material go to landfills each year. Imagine if we diverted those billions of pounds from the landfill and turned them into compost. Imagine our cities, vacant lots converted into food forests. Imagine abundance everywhere. And it can help reverse climate change. But most likely it won't. Why? Because we're insane. We define waste as anything unused, unproductive, or not properly utilized. But waste is a human invention. We're the only creatures on Earth who don't live a zero waste existence. Yep, thanks to trillions of microbes that are in and around everything, including us. Anything that lives gets repurposed and contributes to the growth of new life. Some 500 million years ago, these microbes brought plants onto the land. The microbes provided minerals and water in exchange for carbon sugars produced by the plants through photosynthesis. This resulted in a terrestrial explosion of life. More life meant more excretions and deaths, which meant more food and nutrients for decomposers, and all soil life, known as the soil food web. This increased the abundance and biodiversity of ecosystems and turned barren land into fertile soil. Today, composting mimics this natural upcycling process, transforming combinations of organic material into life-filled, nutrient-available organic matter. Compost isn't just mulch, manure, or food waste on its own, nor does it stink. Compost has the aroma of the forest floor after a rain. It also has superpowers. Compost can enhance food nutrition, increase crop yield, and strengthen plants' immune systems, all while increasing the soil's water holding capacity. And compost stimulates plant growth by bringing in microbial life, nutrients, and water-retaining humus to depleted soils. More plant growth takes even more carbon out of the atmosphere. Microbes feed plants. Plants feed microbes and the self-regenerating soil carbon pump cycles on and on building soil. Compost is a regenerative substance. It isn't just fertilizer. It's an essential microbial source, a probiotic for the land beneath our feet. Now, while we've made some great progress recycling paper and even composting yard trimmings, currently in the US, over 50% of trash going to landfills is food scraps, paper, yard trimmings, and wood, all compostable materials. We are throwing away the very building blocks of life. Only 5% of our food scraps get composted. 5%. That means over 60 billion pounds of mineral-rich food material, much still fully edible. The weight of four and a half great Egyptian pyramids go to landfills each year. And there it rots, creating methane gas, a greenhouse gas up to 86 times more potent than CO2. And it's not just food. Grass, leaves, and clippings, all designed by nature to fall back to the ground and increase fertility, are shipped miles to landfill. Now that's insane. Some city governments are finally stepping up by providing green bins to make composting more available, but too often they're misused. Toxic material, trash, is being mixed with the stuff we grow our food in. Just stop it! Don't put toxins or non-organics in that bin, please! Our current agricultural system robs our soils of carbon and biology, replacing them with chemicals, leading to more degeneration and desertification. We've broken the regenerative loop of life. It's crazy. Without soil, life on land as we know it is impossible. And soil without life? It's just dust. If the soil has been stripped of its life-giving qualities, what can help save our future? Properly made compost. The soil would be spongy again, retaining water and restoring our underground water supplies. Fertile farms producing tastier and more nutritious food and no longer covered in toxic chemicals. 
Imagine a farm to table to compost to farm system. This is the regenerative system our future depends on. And doing it at home is easier than you think. You can at home, use your green bin. If you for some reason don't have a green bin, request one from your city or find a neighbor or community garden who can use your compostables. Cities like San Francisco, Los Angeles, St. Louis, and my hometown, New York, are leading the charge. Thank you. Countries from Haiti to Australia are using compost to address food security and desertification. Schools, hospitals, and restaurants are waking up to composting their food scraps. Scientists and compost manufacturers are improving methods, making our superhero even more powerful. Yes! Life isn't over for the humble peel. Along with other organic material, it can help restore fertility to our soil, regenerate our food systems, clean our water, and it can help reverse climate change. Really? Okay, so what can you do? Do all you can to support composting. If we're to keep the planet habitable, human beings must participate in regeneration. Each of us can play a role to help regenerate our planet simply by composting. The cycle of this can make or break us. You choose.